Hi folks, it's Carol at the bakery and it's getting hot, hot summer. And I've spoken to a couple of my friends who have food businesses or restaurants and so on. And yeah, you know, when it's, when it's hot, you want a barbecue and that makes perfect sense to us, you know? So have a nice party, have some people over and enjoy, your, enjoy the hot weather as best you can. Now, every year at barbecue season, we get a lot of questions about our buns and a lot of folks are disappointed that we don't make hot dog buns anymore. And again, I want to give you an honest reason why. Uh, a single hot dog bun is actually more work to make than this whole loaf of bread. And we, we charge about $4 for this loaf of bread and that covers our labor costs and ingredient costs and so on. But a single hot dog bun, if it actually is more work to, for us than this whole loaf of bread, what can we charge for a single hot dog bun? It's, it's just, it became too difficult for us to, to keep up with the demand and charge a price that was win-win for both you and for us. So, um, unfortunately we don't sell hot dog buns anymore, but I have a trick, a, a solution that might work for you. So, check it out. All right, so this, this is a bat and uh, I guess, you know, it's like a British thing, a Scottish thing, I don't know. A lot of people call it a bat. And so if you take a bat, which we sell for 50 cents each, you could buy two or three or six, you don't have to buy, you know, you buy the dozen. And so then you take this bat and you cut it in half. Here, here don't wanna have a scary moment on video. You should do this on the counter. All right, so you cut the bat in two. Rated knife probably work better. And then from here, you have basically a half bun. So you slice it down the middle here, and this is my this is my mock-up of a hot dog. Basically, half a bat perfectly fits half a hot dog. So you know, if you don't want a lot of bread around your hot dog, these work really well. They are totally suitable, and we make them every single day at the bakery. So if you need something for your hot dogs, it might not be exactly what you're expecting, but it'll totally do. So I want to thank Jackie Taylor for showing me the bat trick when she came in one day because I thought, brilliant, we still can fit that need. So thanks for your support. Thanks for coming in and remembering us on hot days because it does really slow down on hot days because you're barbecuing, which is the perfect thing you should be doing. And what is a better accompaniment for a family barbecue than a pie. And if you remember, our apple pies, we peel and slice the apples in-house for our apple pies every single batch. And our Saskatoon pies are made with locally grown Saskatoons that we get from the guy at the farmer's market. So short ingredient lists and great fruit pies. So enjoy your hot summer days. Thanks, Ms. Nat.